Welcome back everyone, today I'm playing some free for all on Crash and this is just going to be a commentary about what I'm up to in the game right now. I've been going a lot for challenges as anyone who's been subscribed to this channel will see. Uh, what I've been doing here is I've never done the challenges in free for all before and there is only one and that is to win a free for all game by at least 7 kills. The free for all in Modern Warfare Remastered only goes up to 25 instead of the normal 30 so you need to win the game before the second place guy gets at least 18. So I was, I've never done that before, I normally just have bad luck or I'm not good enough or someone gets 18, 19, 20 but uh, yeah here I managed to do it which I unlocked part 1 of 10 for the best of the best. What I've also been doing is been doing a lot of the uh, extended challenges so I've been doing a lot of the DLC gun uh, camouflage and those type of challenges so right now today I've been doing the Rangers camo challenges which are ridiculously hard because they're a Kimbo and you need to get 100 headshots so currently I still need 21 uh, before that's finished um, also then I've got to do 100 kills with the Rangers while crouched which isn't so hard but then after that I have to get 100 kills while prone now there's no way to do that other than just go to a highly populated spot on the map lay down and just camp a doorway you can't really run up to someone lay down with the Akimbo Rangers and then try and kill them first I'm gonna die a lot during that but that's part of the ground I'm enjoying it though so I'm not bothered about that I've nearly finished all the challenges of the game I'm in the middle of slowly working on this one project a lot like the uh, like the martyrdom project I had where I finally finished doing the martyr dominated challenge after four years this isn't going to take four years but it is such a grind it's probably the grindiest uh, challenge of the game where martyr dominated was the most RNG this is the most grindy annoying challenge I won't say what it is but uh, you'll see it coming hopefully within the next week or so it's uh, it's really really hard to get this I'm using a lot of AFK people to help me out with it so anytime I see anyone AFK I do this to them but uh, just to talk a bit about this gameplay again I do really quite well in this I only die four times and uh, the, the next best guy got 17 kills so just I, I beat him by 8 kills so I needed to beat him by 7 or more so uh, that's fine. Right here, this is a bit like luck in gaming. Right there, if I watched the kill cam I would have spawned in front of that guy and then I wouldn't have got that kill or the second kill. This guy probably would have caught me running up the stairs. So sometimes it's good not to beat yourself up if you do bad in the game because it can just be bad luck. Right there, I've just been getting a lot of good luck in this game. I mean I make gold luck by choosing where to go and remember where certain people are camping and things like this but timing is everything in this game and if you go around a corner and someone's looking left when they could have looked right and then you get a free kill it's good luck you just gotta make your own luck but not everything in this game is down to skill there is a lot of luck involved right here I'm on a five kill streak so I'm thinking I just want to stay alive get two more kills just so I can get my second helicopter and I'm just just patrolling the same route and there's a guy is he up there again I think that's the third time I've caught him that guy just kept running it's not even a good position to camp I, I really don't know maybe he needs some long shot challenges or something I have no idea but uh, that was a weird guy just camping up there I think it was the same guy Right now I'm just one off, I'm just looking for that one noob to run across. I'm thinking where is he, where is he, I haven't heard anyone. I'm using dead silence in this so I can hear everyone's footsteps but they can't hear mine. I normally run the silence Mac 10 with UAV jammer but I thought I want that extra little bit of stopping power so I put stopping power on and I've noticed a huge difference. I don't think I'll be using it with UAV jammer again 
And look, there he is again. I can't believe it. And that's the helicopter. That guy helped me get the helicopter. So right now I'm on a 7 streak, so I can feel more free just to run around now. Because it doesn't really matter if I die, I can just call in the helicopter. Get back on my streak again. And this guy here, see if he was looking the opposite way, he probably would have killed me. That's just a bit of the luck in the games. Just checked up there just before the helicopter came in, shoot the dead body. Because uh, you see anything at the bottom of those stairs. Again, luck there. If he was a second faster, he would have flashed me on the stairs. And uh, I probably would have died, but... You've just got to make your own luck in this game and hopefully something will go your way eventually. There I'm on a 10 streak and I notice I'm just about out of bullets. Catch this guy running across. Realise I need to pick up his gun. This is a fucking awful gun. And I get taken out. So I get, get my new chopper up. Fully reloaded. My perk one was 3 times frag. I should not have had that. I didn't really uh, change up my class from what I was using last time. Uh, I got killed by that guy camping on the stairs. But uh, I definitely would have used Bandolier if I'd looked at it again. This guy, I think, was trying to shoot down my helicopter, so take him out. Now I need five more kills, and I noticed the guy is five. The second place guy is five kills behind me, so I need to do it fast because as it's going, he's gonna catch me. So now we've got a couple more kills, helicopter got me a kill, reload like crazy. I see a red dot right here, but there's no one here. It's like a mystery red dot, I didn't understand that at all. Then this guy was camping behind the car, so of course I get the revenge spawn. The amount of people I've shot in the back here is, I mean it's just good luck, but this guy respawns, take him down, one more kill needed, quick reload when I probably didn't need it. And that's the win. Best of the best one. Now I've got a bonus clip coming up just at the end of this as well, which I'll let play out. But firstly I'm just going to say, if you're new here, please subscribe. I'm on the road to 1000 subscribers, which I hope to do. That's one of my goals for this year. Get 1000 subscribers, so there we see 25 and 4. Best of the best. I think we're going to play a lot more hardcore. A lot hardcore, a lot more free for all, sorry. But uh, yeah, before we get onto that bonus clip, just going to show you level 265 here. Load up all this shite. And I'm going to show off the new calling card I got. I mean, it's not really that great, but it's one of those ones that's taunted me for so long in the challenges just because I've never went for it. But there you see, you need 10, 10 of those. I've just got the one. I thought it was one and done, but apparently there's ten. So uh, I'll be uh, doing a lot more free for all. Probably use the same gun, but with bandolier next time. Now here's the uh, here's a little bonus clip. This is me finishing off a challenge I've been grinding for a long time, and that is kill 25 people who are defusing your team's bomb. And then it comes up there. That was a long time coming, and that's it. Thanks for watching, I'll just show you the calling card here, I'll catch you next time.